Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our crafty podcast. This is episode 51 and I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica and she's my daughter-in-law and I'm her mother-in-law. So hey, hello, welcome. If you're new, we hope you stick around and you like what you see. <laughs> and if you do, you consider subscribing. And if you're returning, just want to let you know that we appreciate you and we're so happy that you're here and that you come back and watch us again and again. Um, so... Last week we did a life update in the beginning, but this week I think we're going to go back to normal and just go right in to the crafting. Right? We want to do that first or we want to do that first? Let's do the crafty stuff okay. first. <laughs> All right. So uh, Daphne was uh, referring to the... Um, Make along. Yeah, that ended. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we have pulled the winners and... Pulled the prizes from the prize shelf, and but we you gotta stick around. You gotta wait till the end <laughs> to find out. <laughs> All right, so we'll start with um, finished objects. I have one finished objects uh, object, <laughs> and it's called the Clear Skies Cow by Heather Wapple. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, and it. Looks like that. And, but I added stripes to mine. So here it is. Here, I'll hold it. You talk. Okay. <laughs> I used Sweet Mountain yarns from uh, Carista of Sweet Mountain Crafts. This is the Rose Opal Knit set, and um, it's on her um, scree sock, which is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. And this is the rose opal color. And then the orange we call Erica and the yellow we call Daphne because those are our favorite colors. So it was a lot of fun to knit, very easy pattern. Um, and I have, I think I wrote it down, I did. So I used, or well, I have 38 grams left of the main color, and I have about 12 grams each of the minis. So I have enough if I wanted to knit a shorty pair of socks, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while and decide um, what I want to do with it later. But I used a US size six, and just modified the pattern to include the um, contrast colors. This section here, um, as the pattern is written, is another eyelet section. The eyelets, uh, I, are, yeah, they're closer together than these two here, but I just omitted those and striped the minis together. And then I did the um, rose opal color with the orange down here and the rose opal color with the yellow up there. And it's before blocking, it was 10 and a quarter inches wide and 15 and three quarters long. Um, and then when I, I wet blocked it, so I tried to stretch it out a little bit because it was very snug, which is fine, um, but I didn't want it that snug. And I'll show it to you on real quick. Take these off. Here it is after being blocked. So it's not as snug. Before it was like, <laughs> but now it's got some, a little bit of ease and it kind of drapes nicely, but it's still warm, like it still hugs. So that's it. I really like it, but I'm going to take it off because I'm warm. <laughs> and I think that's it, right? Oh, I so. oh, I didn't I didn't put my marker back on, but I know where it was. So the last time I showed it, I was about right here in the pattern. So I knit all of that. And it was held in uh, a Mountain State Stitches bag that I bought several years ago. All right. Oh, I have two pairs of socks. And... I'll start with these ones. You've seen me with them multiple times. The other one's over here. 
both socks are dirty, too. Because the guys wore them. <laughs> they were Christmas gifts. Holden knew about his. Chris didn't know about his. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so these are Holden's. This is a fingering weight yarn. It's poly press fibers in the Cornish sleigh ride sock set. So, and I think I was like in the gusset on the second one last time I showed them. So, and it's um, 72 stitches, one by one rib cuff, and then it's a two by seven rib down the leg and foot. So, and it's a wedge toe, heel flap, and gusset. And it's, it's just a, a stockinette stitch, heel yeah. flap. What was I going to say? It's a US 1.5. And it's a short little toe for Holden. Because mm -hmm. he has really wide feet. So, look at it. <laughs> it's just a little toe. Oh, I dropped it. We'll leave it's it fine. <laughs> All right. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave it. And then the second pair is this one. This other sock, too. Hold it. So, hold it. <laughs> And these are DK. This is um, Willow Tree's Fancy DK in the slate color, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. And it's done on a US 3 with a 1x1 one one rib. And I cast it on 56. And it's a heel flap and gusset and a... Slip stitch heel flap and gusset. It's a, it a follows... rounded toe? Yes. Yeah, that's the one no. I said. Yes. That's what I did. Rounded toe, yeah. yeah. Rounded toe. Mm -hmm. And it follows our DK weight um, sock recipe that's on our website. Hold on. So, <laughs> I ran out of yarn. Don't know how, because I weighed it. So, I don't know what was going on. But, they're different yarns. This is a different willow tree yarn. I don't know exactly what it is. It was from her. So Yeah. But. It, I bought it last year or the year before, so. <laughs> I don't remember the name, but and this is a cat. This is a cashmere base. Yeah, the majority of the sock is done on um, the cashmere merino cashmere nylon mm -hmm. base, and then this is just merino nylon mm -hmm. here on the toe. Um, I knit my mother a pair of socks out of these for Christmas. I guess it was last year. Yeah. Um, but the funny thing about these socks is, you know, that they have some cashmere in it, and the socks that he has for me that I've knit him because they were knit for my husband. Did you say that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I said Chris. I okay. Didn't say who we were. All right. <laughs> um, <been. laughs> I've knit him um, Regia socks and Patton's Croy socks, uh, so they're you know sturdy yarn. So when she gave these to him, I said, "Now those have cashmere, so you know save them for church or well, something." Okay. And then I'm... he wore them to work out in because he well. Hey, yeah, yeah, after, after. You told him after he came upstairs. Yeah. No, I told him when he opened them on Christmas Day. Yeah, um, but he was still not feeling the best yeah. on Christmas Day. And he is feeling a lot better now. And I say he worked out, but thankfully he's not up to his, like, regular workout routine. Because they would have got a workout. I think he was just mostly walking. But um, I was like, don't work out in them. I've got cashmere. And he was like, <laughs> so. <laughs> but... All right. But yeah, so those are his socks. They fit him. Yeah. Oh, he really liked them, so. Well, I mean, I decided to knit him a pair of socks the week before Christmas. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> so I knew Willow Tree would get here in time, plus she has really pretty colors. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm -hmm. I'm getting that yarn. Mm -hmm. And it, there was a gray, so. Yeah, it worked out perfect. It got here in time. They got finished in time. Mm -hmm. Just didn't have enough yarn for yeah. some reason. Mm-hmm. All right, so <laughs> we're going to move into our works in progress now. Yep. All right, so I have a bunch of socks because I decided it was time to cast on a bunch of them. So this is my first bag. It's Mountain State Stitches. And in here, I have two pairs of socks, one for my mom and one for myself. So my mom's socks are these. They're really cute. And um, these are both fingering weight yarns with a heel, contrast heel and toes is what I'm going to do. No, cuff and toes. Cuff and toes. What did I say? Heel and toes. <laughs> cuff and toes. Whatever. And they're both going to be the same. So they are both 14, no, 16, something like that. 16, one by one rib, a 16 row leg, and then a heel flap and gusset with the slip stitches, and then a wedge toe. But, so this is how far I am on hers. And they're both done on US 1.5. Mm -hmm. So this one is, I don't know what that this yarn is I can actually. tell you what it is. Okay, so the cuff so far is this yarn. It is um, Coops, Coops Knit Sock, yeah. I don't remember the color though exactly. But I've used it before, so I can give it to you later. Okay. The, oh, we not, we didn't say it in the beginning. Um, there are notes in the description box below. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have this 
from which her. is uh, Yarnberry, um, and it was a sock part of a sock set called "Not Handsome Enough to Tempt Me," which is a <laughs> Pride and Prejudice reference. It is um, on a sparkle base too, so you can't really see it too much. I don't think. I knit but. a pair of socks out of this last year or the year before. Something like that. Uh huh. But so these were her scraps. Mm-hmm. So that's that sock. And then this one's the same idea, just different cut. <laughs> these ones are for me though. So these are both willow tree yarns. The yellow is actually from my rainy day sock set. And you'll find out why it's not in the sock set anymore with that yarn. And then this is lollipop. From willow tree. Yep, yeah. they're both willow tree. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so they're the colors. But these ones make me super happy. <laughs> Plus they like match the bag because the outside's that crazy color base basically like I mean the main color is that purpley color which makes me think of the bath but then the inside of my bag is bright yellow Mm, that is a lot of fun (laughs) I didn't realize the inside of the bag was bright yellow yeah I was winding them all up and I was like putting them in piles to decide which socks are going in which bags I was like they're going in that bag yeah. because that makes they'd me happy. To. Yeah, they'd have to. And then I have a moody bag, but I didn't cast those on yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told you they're going in that yeah. bag. Yeah. They remind me. They look like moody, so they're in that bag. Moody. <laughs> oh. um, so I have three pairs of DK weight socks going right now, but only the first sock of each pair. So oh. I'm going to go through those real quick. So the first uh, is in this bag by Noble Char- Amy of Noble Character Crafts, and it is um, it's the first sock of a um, f- of a pair for my husband. And the last time I showed I showed it in the last episode, I was down here. So I am holding Patton's Croy with opal. And The Patton's Croy is the colorway Midnight oh Colors, <laughs> which is this one, Midnight Colors. And then the opal is just a number. It's uh, 5191. This looks really pretty. I want to see it. <laughs> uh-huh. I haven't actually touched it. And so when I showed it to you, I had decided to knit, I think it was 12 rounds of one by one ribbing and then stockinette on the back of the sock. And I continued the one by one ribbing on the front of the sock. I plan on making these taller socks. Um, so, and he likes rib socks. Usually the socks I knit him are all ribbed. Um, and then I got, t- I got tired of the one by one ribbing. So I was like, I'm just gonna go and do, it's like a three by one rib, just I on the front. It. Yeah, just on the front. I, it's not, oh, I guess it is quite a bit. You can't see it. Uh-huh, really. But it's three by one rib and I'm just working on these. Uh, actually, no, I'm not working on the front. Actually, I decided not to make my brain these days. It's not quite where it used to be. But anyway, I've already started the heel flap. Is I'm, it the heel flap? Yeah, I'm too, too, um, I can't count. I can't yeah. see that. That would be so hard to count. I'd have to do it in one sitting. Yeah, so I'm two in. I can see the slip stitch because it's a slip stitch. Oh, yeah, stitch you can flap. see the slip stitches. Yeah, so I, I was going to make them real long, but I mean, not super long, but longer than I normally make them. And then I just. That seems shorter. Is it? No. Look how long mine is. Is mine long? No, no. it's the same length. Oh. They look long. So I, I made, <laughs> ended up making them the regular length. But, um,. Anyway. <laughs> They're going to be real long, you guys. They're not going to be real long anymore. <laughs> they were going to be. Not real long, but you know. Longer than I normally make. But apparently I decided at some point in the last week or two to make them shorter. And then I showed this sock. DK weight sock. Oh, for his socks, because the um, Patton's Scroll is a little bit thicker... And the opal is um, not as thick as the Patton's Croy, but it's um, thicker than like uh, the Regia yarn. Um, I didn't, I went up. It felt more like a worsted weight to me. So instead of doing the DK weight 56 stitches on a US 3, I did 52 stitches on a US 4 for him. 
so hopefully that works out. Um, but this is a DK weight socks sock on a US three, and it's for me, and it's 48 stitches. Excuse me. And now looking at it, I don't see Christmas anymore at all. I know. So this is where it was the last time I should. Oh, can I have? I'll put it on the sock blocker. Yeah, I was about to say your blockers are there. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> It's twisted. Is it? A You're little. gonna lose stitches. I know, that's why I but was. That's, how you, that's not how you do it. Hold on. We'll fix it. One. All right, we had some technical difficulties. <laughs> so, this is um what I was doing with the sock. It's mostly stockinette stitch with a little pearl and um, twisted knit stitch here in the front. And this, like I said, this is where I was. And I worked my way down the leg got to the length I wanted and then I went to the heel and I decided to repeat that detail on the heel so it's got slip stitch it's like a slip stitch heel but the center of it has that detail there and then I turned it and did the gusset stitches and now oh, now I'm on the foot but the whole time I was knitting it I was like because I did two by two rib and then I um, did two rounds of purling and then started this detail. And I was like, you know what, this would look cool um, if this detail was up in the ribbing. So I couldn't stop thinking about that. And I'm a mood knitter anyway. So <laughs> I was like, you know, I got my graph paper out and I kind of charted it up. And I ended up charting the whole sock with this new cuff and that heel and the small, medium, and large. So probably when I'm done knitting these socks, I'll fully type up, because I have the pattern written out, but I'll fully type it up and probably just put it on the website for free um, after I have a couple knitters read it to make oh, sure. Yeah. I don't really read patterns all the time. <laughs> and, um, so I probably wouldn't be the best at that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so I, okay, so let me say this first. This yarn was dyed by me when Daphne and I had our dye day and I dyed it specifically for Christmas. And then while I was knitting it, had started knitting it, Daphne said, yeah, when Mary Rose saw the yarn, she said it looks like. Roses or something. Rose, we have the rose, actual name written on our binder, uh -huh. but I don't remember what it was. Exactly. I think she said Rose Garden or something like that. And then... Knitting it, it looks more like roses than Christmas. Then I could, I didn't see Christmas anymore. All I saw were roses or a rose bush. So then I was thinking more Valentine's Day, and um, and I was, you know, I had thought of ways to tweak the pattern. So I remembered that I had this skein of um, artistic lily, and it's called Pink Maiden. It's on her. I don't know why I'm holding it back here. <laughs> on her awesome DK, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino nylon base. And um, so I was like, that would look pretty with this pattern. And it would still be kind of like Valentine's Day. Um, not that it has a Valentine's name or I didn't name it anything Valentine's Day. I could have done something for Valentine's Day too. <laughs> Yeah, this yarn over here. Oh yeah, that would've been cute. But um, but anyway, I mean, it doesn't have hearts or anything. Yeah, I but, know, but still. But Valentine's is around the corner. Um, so here is the start of that sock with the um altered cuff. So this one has just the two by two with the pearl, and then this one has the detail all the way up. And it's got a lot of one by one. And then it has it on the back of the cuff as well. But that's as far as I've gotten. So, but this is uh, knit 48, I'm knitting it 48 stitches on a US3 because it's gonna be for me. Oh, and I'm using, um, I'm not using Chow Goose for this one. I am using the, um, the this <laughs> needle. <laughs> and um, Easy Knit Rocket. And I think, I saw it first mentioned on the Naughty Knitwits, 
and um, she was saying that one side has a longer needle, which it does, and I like a long needle. I'm a five inch needle girl. Um, and uh, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try that, and I do. I really enjoy knitting with this. So, there are all my socks. Daphne has more though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in another Mom Save Stitches bag, I have DK weight socks though in this one. And I have a pair for me and a pair for Holden to start it. Oh no. Oh, I I, oh wait, I didn't mention my bag. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm holding these socks in another bag by Amy of Noble Character Crafts. I just love it. Okay. Okay, anyway, so this is my yarn. This is um one of ours. I think we called it Sugar Plum. I think I called yes, it Sugar Plum. I think so. But anyway, so this is it. It's, it's a DK base. And this is my sock. So this is a vanilla sock. So one by one rib, tail flap and gusset with the slip stitches and then a wedge toe is what it's gonna be. So that's it. And it's done on a US three. So I mean, just basic vanilla sock. And it is a one by one rib. And I think I did it for like 14 rounds or something. I don't remember. <laughs> but I, okay, I don't know why. This is like my favorite length of socks like just the real like they're not short but they're shorties so I don't know mm -hmm. that's how tall I knit my socks okay and then the other one is Holden's you say that but you know <laughs> anyway I didn't even bring the tag anyway so this is Holden's yarn it is um Ravenswood fibers in the I love you to the stars and back it might be I love you to the moon and back but I think it's stars I think it's stars because it's like a little fox and a little guy looking up at the stars. So I think it's I love you to the stars and back. So this is the yarn. Oh, for my socks, I cast it on 48. These are for Holden. So these are casted on 56. And it is a two by two rib. And then a heel flap and gusset with just, just stock and net. Done on a US three also. So that's his socks so far. Mm -hmm. And all the socks so far, other than the sugar plum one, are I'm done with the heel flap and gusset. I mean, I'm done with the gusset. So that's those ones. Mm -hmm. And then I have one more pair. This is in a bag from Michaels that my mom got me. So these are the Sunday socks by Petite Knits. A couple other people have been knitting them. So this is it. And it's way longer than normal. So it is a I don't want to say exactly what it is. It's a ribbed sock. Because mm, it's paid for pattern. Yeah, it's a paid mm -hmm. for pattern, so I don't want to give too much away. So it's a ribbed sock, basically. It, I mean, it looked cute when you had it folded down. Oh, yeah. It, they, they're supposed to be, like, loungy kind mm -hmm. of socks. Reminds me of the socks I wore in, like, 1989. I love these. With right, Anyways. <laughs> so I'm actually holding three yarns for this sock. So this is the first one. It is... Yeah, this is Spectacular Yarns, Advent number three, I think. And I bought it last year. So she doesn't actually dye anymore right now, right? Yeah, I think she took a break from dyeing. She and had then, a baby. Yeah, and then this one is Clark and Al. It is um, the Mystery Club that she did last year, and this is the November color. So, and it is sparkly. You can see that sparkle, actually. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is a mohair. Which, um, it's Rowan Kid Silk Haze, and I don't know the color at all because I used it for my magnolia. So these are what I'm holding for that sock. And... What size are you knitting it on? Did I you was going to say, I think oh. it's a US 5 is what it is. Hold on. Yeah, US 5. And I cast it on the smallest size. So, yeah. Alright. Those are my socks. I plan on wearing them with the folded down. Mm -hmm. So, those are my socks. And I have two more caked up, but I didn't want to cast those on yet because they're going to be part of my Make 9. Was that your Christmas Eve cast on? Oh yeah, this was my Christmas... No, this was my Christmas Day cast on, remember? Because okay. I wanted to be able to take my project with me because I was going to my parents' house. Okay, so, yeah. Christmas and Day. my Christmas socks that are now Rose Garden socks um, were my Christmas Eve cast on. And then... I had 
That's your Christmas Day cast on. This is my Christmas Eve cast on. Christmas Eve cast on. All right. In so. my new bag. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to talk about my bag. Whoops. This is from The Knitting Dentist. I think it's Knitting Den, though, on Etsy. It's Knitting Dentist on Instagram, Instagram. I think. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. Mm-hmm. It has a tag. I know it does. I saw it. Where is it? Maybe it's inside. Maybe. Either way. You want to talk about yours first? No, it just has a little tooth on it. The tag. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. I'll talk about mine. I showed this in the last episode. This is um, my, uh, I casted it on for Advent after um, I got out of the hospital and felt like knitting again. <laughs> and um, it is the Habitation Throw by Helen Stewart, right? That sounds right. Okay. And it'll be on the screen if it's wrong. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it'll be on the screen either way. But I um, omitted the eyelet rows because I just did not have the brain power for them. I did one. <laughs> one was plenty. Um, so the last time I showed it, I was right there. That little guy is Snape from Harry Potter. <laughs> it came in my um, advent calendar for my friend. And that's how much I added. So I finished it this, um, no, I got it. Okay. I finished this 20 gram mini and then uh, added a 10 gram mini, another 20 gram mini, and then this is a 20 gram mini that I have four grams left of. So I knit it mainly on Sunday, but there are a couple days here and there where I might pick it up and knit across the row once or twice. Um, and then put it away and work on something else. But my goal is to complete the entire blanket by Advent of 2022, or this year. So I, I think there were, I mentioned this last time, 17 total minis in the Advent calendar that my friend Julie made for me. And uh, most of them were 20 gram, but I think five of them were 10. So um, the next color I'm gonna add is this 10 gram gray. And um, well, I have them caked up in the <laughs> bag. So I'm gonna add the gray, and then this purple, and then this speckle, and then this one. And then I have some that aren't even caked up yet. <laughs> and um, how many more do I have that are not caked not up? Not many. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think. So yeah, because you said you were winding five, and then yeah. you were going to save five. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I um, got a gift card from my mother for Christmas to Etsy, and I purchased the rest of the yarn for the blanket. Because if you'll remember last time, I said that I'm going to knit all the minis until the minis are done. Like, I'm going to keep increasing, and then when the minis run out, I'm going to add one yarn, and then finish, like finish the pattern, start decreasing, um, and then finish the pattern in one yarn, one yarn color. So I purchased from you and I on Etsy um, three skeins of this colorway, which is called Tea Cozy. And I think that it'll go well. You know, it's a scrappy blanket with um, kind of non-matchy-matchy minis anyway. <laughs> um, so the neutral gray with the pops of, it's like yellow, fuchsia, purple, gold. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it'll, it'll all work out well to make a blanket that I'll be happy with. <laughs> so that is a... Um, acquisition but I'm just showing it now because I put it in the bag already <laughs> and I'm knitting it on size six I feel like most of my things are on size six right now you said they were yeah you said you had no more sixes yep size six <laughs> chow goo and it is living in my black cat bag by fat girl sewing on Etsy Alright, I have a blanket too. Mine's not nearly as far. Not even close. <laughs> Look, I'm all twisted. What is going on? Animal battle these stitches. Hold on. Oh no. 
Oh, oh, oh. No, no, you don't actually have to oh, pause. Okay. <laughs> just gonna hold on. <laughs> what a, it's we have a, seriously we, twisted. What is we going have on cheap, here? Well, we have squeaky chairs. If you hear uh, the chairs squeaking. All right, you guys, this is gonna be a hot mess. But it's okay. So that's how far I am. That's just marking the front, though. So, and I did see the eye cord. Uh -huh. You said you were going to. I know, but I didn't show you it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, so I would have been further, but I started it, and I got to probably double this size, actually, and then realized that I wasn't doing it right for the I-cord, and I wanted the I-cord. So I was like, I'm okay with this, kept knitting, and I'm like, I'm not okay with this, and ripped it off the needles, and wound it around this ball. So, <laughs> so I did get further than this the first time. I'm actually using new needles. I bought these needles specifically for this project. They are Leica needles, or however you say it, mm -hmm. and they're US-8, <laughs> so I did buy these, and I bought them with a really long cord for this, so, and so far I actually really enjoy this, these, but, I don't know, I'm still not far enough to actually judge them yet, mm -hmm. so, and I have all my yarns in here, but like I said, they're a hot mess, so. Do you have your ball bands? I have most of them. Okay. I think, yeah, cause, yeah, I have all but two, but that's because two of them we split. So this one is Sweet Mountain Yarns. It's Underwater Adventure. It's a superwash merino nylon. And then I'll show you the full skeins first. This is the one that's tangled. This is a Clark and L. Didn't miss the tag. It is um, September's colorway from the Mystery Club last year. And it is, this is Stellina base. And it's called Acorns. Oh no, I dropped my tag. No, that's not even the tag I needed. Whatever. And then this one. This is the blue from my Sunny Day sock set from Willow Tree. So. And then I have two. So those are all 100 gram skeins. And it's going to stripes. I'll show you the striping order in a minute. But this one is Lolo Bean. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. In the Ruby is Hagrid. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't have that tag mm -hmm. anymore. And then this is Molly Klein's Christmas Breakfast. I think so from last year. It was a mystery colorway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that. And we shared that. So yeah, I got so 50 I grams. 50. She got 50 and grams. And I knit my dad a pair of socks out of this one already. Mm -hmm. So here, I'll show you my order. And then this one. And then Molly Klein's. And then this one. Yeah, that's right. I have to wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I looked wrong. So, those are my colors. Very nice. I'm pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. I just got mad and then didn't knit it again because I got <laughs> mad at it. All right. So, I have a New Year's Day cast on. You do too, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's not very far, um, but so Carla of Carla Knits, hi Carla if you're watching, <laughs> um, is hosting a year-long um, make-along cal. Um, it's Love Your Stash, I think that's what it's called. Something like that. Yeah, and um, it's all about pulling out what isn't in, in our stash, something purchased before the start of 2020 or you know before 2022 um and just using it and um so i have been thinking a lot about um my stash um and i really just want to use it and i don't want it sitting in a cabinet just sitting there <laughs> that's why i cast it on so many socks i saw all my hand dyed stuff and i'm like oh nope. <laughs> It's filling one of the cubes. Uh-huh. I'm like, nope, it's got to go. So it's got to be knit. And, um, I mean, I don't have a problem with stash, but I just, I just really want to use what I have. So I decided to, uh, um, cast on January 1st, the bandwidth tunic. And I purchased that from Webs. And I'm going to knit it for my daughter. And I'm also knitting this, so with Carla's Knit Along, I guess it's okay to double dip. I'll have to find out, read their rules. But also with strings attached, because they're hosting a um, Knit Along for children's knits. Yeah, I don't know what that one's called. I think they, I think it's 
It started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's so hello it's ladies from me. String Attach if you're <laughs> watching. Um, but Daphne, this is actually past the stash from Daphne to me. We and, traded yarn. And then it said, Oh, did I give you yarn and Yeah, place? I took the one gray and white one. Oh. I don't remember that. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like, I, okay, that never one. mind. What do you mean? <laughs> so she had these three from Hobby Lobby Yarn B, the fresco fiber, and these three colors. And they sat in her stash for a little while, and she was like, I don't know what to do with those. I, you know, she just wasn't in love with them. So she passed them to me. And I mean, if you've been around for a while, you know, well, you know, this color is like. It matches her sweater right now. My color. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, and I love color and I love stripes and I love color work. So I was like, sure, I'll take it. I'll figure something out. And thankfully my daughter loves color and two. So I'm going to knit her the tunic out of these and I'm not sure how I'm going to stripe it. I think, um, oh, well, let me tell you the colors first. This one is chambray. This one's lilac and this one's tangerine. <laughs> And I cast it on. It's a bottom-up tunic. Oh, it's being held in a bag. A Vera Bradley bag that my friend gave me. Um, <laughs> and it's bottom-up. So I cast it on the skirt. Why do I have an extra needle? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Why do you have an extra needle? I don't know. Are those even the same size? I don't know. <laughs> I have to look. Oh, you were, play you were thinking about going down. Oh, no, I, I think I, I do have to go down for, like, the ribbing or the cuff or something. I don't know. The oh. neckline? I don't know. Um, I thought you said you weren't. <laughs> not at the bottom of the skirt. Oh, okay. Um, so, right currently, I cast it on with a um, my Chalgu US 7. And so, this is the skirt. I'm knitting the 6 to 8 size. She's 5. Um, so... I cast it on 300 and some stitches, knit around, and then started purling the next round because I'm modifying the pattern. <laughs> it's like, can I ever knit a pattern 100% um, the way it's designed? <laughs> I really should, um, but I didn't want to do. It was like a pico edge, you know, that you have to... Knit, stockinette. Yeah. And then... Do the pico row. Yeah. And then knit more stockinette and then fold it up. And yeah. and I just didn't... I just didn't want to do that. I didn't... I feel like I don't have the brain power for any of that kind of stuff right now. So garter stitch it is. <laughs> Besides, I love a good garter stitch border. Um, and that's what I'm working on. But I'm really excited about this. And I want to give it some love here coming up. So I can get it done. Uh, I think I said everything about that. <laughs> you have a sweater too, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a sweater too. This is in my Noble Character Crafts bag. And I started, this is on my Make 9. It is, look at this. Oh, one. that's on my Make 9 too. This is the Bean and Olive. That was your New Year's Bean cast on too, Yes, right? this mm -hmm. is a New Year's cast on. But I was really wanting to do color work. So I did finish the hearts. Mm -hmm. It's a little hard to see them because it's curly. I'll hold it. So. There's that. It is done on a US 9. And the two colors are, so the main color, what is going on with this ball? Okay, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> this is the main color. It is Barocco Vintage, which is a DK weight yarn. I don't know if it has a color name. No, it's just a number. It is 2103. It probably has a color number. I'm at name online. Probably. Mm -hmm. I just don't remember. Mm-hmm. I feel like I do. I feel like it's called chocolate, but I could be wrong, so don't take my word for that. It kind of looks like chocolate. I think it might be. I don't know. And then the other one. Do I not have the tag in here for it? I do. It's right here. This is our yarn, but I do have our tag. That we dyed on our yeah. dying day. So this is it. It is. We named it Lichen. So. <laughs> it looks really pretty in the color work. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I decided already because I really like it. If I have enough of this yarn left over, I'm going to knit this and this and make a pair of socks with the little hearts. So this would be the main color and this would be the hearts. Yeah, because that doesn't have any nylon. Oh, yeah, it does. That's acrylic. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hold on. The Barocco Vintage is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 8% nylon. But mm -hmm. either way, it'll be up in the leg, mm -hmm. not on the foot. Mm -hmm. So yep. those are my plans. And I'm knitting the fourth size. It's very pretty. 
I like it. Yeah, my arm. Oh. <laughs> it's wrapped around my arm. But yeah, so this was New Year's cast on. All right, so I have one more uh, work in progress, and that uh, was your last, that, this right? This was my last one. All right, so now we got to go back to Christmas Day, because this is my Christmas Day cast on. The blanket cast -on. was my Christmas Eve cast on. I didn't say that. Oh, okay. Um, and... It is in my new bag from um, Susan of Delightful Works on Instagram. <laughs> we talked about her in the last episode, and um, we put information in the description box below in the last episode, and I'll go ahead and do it again this time because she <laughs> had that, that uh, very generous free shipping offer for our viewers. But I finally cast on... I was like, what did you cast on? <laughs> I have no idea. I finally cast on the Gracious Sweater by Espas Trico. It's a free pattern. And I am using all the um, Hunger Games yarn that I um, got purchased from Yarn Brary. I think it was... Last year. 2020. Was it? No, because it was when I was buying the Clark and Elf. That was last year. So, yeah. Last year yeah, was yeah. 2020. Oh! <laughs> what day is it? It's like the 5th, right? No, it's no, the 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> so, I purchased it in 2020. And um, I cast one. So, this is what That's I have. such a pretty color. <laughs> um, it's not very far, but... I'm really enjoying it. Or, when I was knitting it, I enjoyed it. Um... I am not, I did not separate the skein and alternate because the stripes are wide and I decided that I was just going to let the yarn do what it wanted to do in the wide stripes and not worry about it at all. I'm pretty laid back about that kind of stuff anyway. Like pooling's cool. Like it doesn't really bother me. And that's the way I feel about it. But I talked about this yarn in my stash video, which um, I think you can find in the extras under the playlist, extra videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this first colorway that I cast on with is called... Are you looking under the tag? It's right here, right? I was going to say, there's one in your bag over there. Oh, yes, you're right. I did stick it in my little extra bag here so I'd be able to find it. Super easy to find. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good thing you saw it. This is the, um, so it's Yarn Brary. And it's the Caesar Flickerman colorway. And I have I've gone through the entire pattern for my size and figured out how many rows of each colorway I need to knit in each section. So I have four Hunger Game colors, but each of the Hunger Game colorways are going to be separated by this gray, um, six, six rounds of this gray, which is Coop's Knit Socks Yeah in the Danburite, Danburite color. And um, so, I'm starting out with Caesar Flickerman, and then I think I'm going to do Boy with the Bread, which is Pita, after that, after the gray. Then another six round gray stripe. And then I'm going to do this one, which is Primrose Everdeen. And the last one, when then there'll be a gray stripe, and then the last <laughs> one is um, this one, which is Effie Trinket. So, <laughs> like that, with the gray in between. But that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. But I'm really excited about it. All right. So that is the end of our works in progress, and now we're going to talk about our um, make-along winners. Oh, yeah. All right, so now we're going to announce the um, winners of our giveaway. We've got one winner from Insta... Not giveaway. It's a make our make-along, our um, holiday sweater, Mal. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we've got one winner from the hashtag on Instagram and one winner from our Facebook group. So um, I'll start with the Facebook group. 
this prize here, which is a lovely bag from Susan of Delightful Works. She donated this, we showed it last week. And this skein of yarn by donated by Angela of Willow Tree Yarn is going to um, Linda Collins. Congratulations, Linda. It was a love note that she made. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah a yeah. love note sweater. And um, if you will, um, well, we'll just get in contact with you. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and then we'll get your address and we'll send this out to you. So thanks for participating. She knit two love notes, right? Yeah, she knit two love notes. Uh huh. So she did. She did get two entries in that because they were two separate posts. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. And then the next prize is for the Instagram one. And it is this tote bag. So I don't know what it says to you. <laughs> yeah, bury me uh, with yarn and needles, and I shall rest in peace. And it's a fringe supply tote bag that we purchased. From and, my mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, then with this bag, there's a sock set. We did dye it, and so it is. What is it? I forget the base. It's a 7525 merino nylon. And the mini is sugar plum, and the main color is nebula. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is a hundred gram. Um, 100 grams DK weight 7525 so you could use it for socks you could use it with, for whatever you want but it, it could be used for DK weight socks this and, is a 30 gram and that's a 30 yeah that, sorry that's a 30 gram <laughs> it's the same base 7525 yeah. DK weight and it goes with this tote bag and the winner is Delightful works, <laughs> Susan. <laughs> so she knit a bunch of sweaters for her grandkids. Yes, yeah, she had and those, and she also had. I think it was a test knit. No, color work. it was her first color work sweater. What? I yeah, swear. that's what it was. Yeah, I read so it she wrong. <laughs> she had a couple entries in yeah. the um the hashtag as well. Yep. So the we used random no number generator, and um, those are our winners. So congratulations, <laughs> um, Linda and Susan. All right, um, we have a couple acquisitions we're going to go through quickly, and that'll be it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so um, for Christmas, um, Daphne and Holden gave me this bag, and inside of the bag is this lovely skein of yarn. It's from Craftily Dyed Yarn. And the it's on the classic sock, 75% merino, 25% nylon, and the colorway is called Indian Corn. And this bag has a little zipper pouch attached inside, and they also gave me a set of these, which um, on one end it has the lobster claw, and the other end it has like the uh, round stitch marker. So they're very cool. There was like... I don't know, six don't or seven, know. eight. Um, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> so um, so I loved it. And I don't know what I'm going to knit with it. <laughs> but I love it. Okay, so they got me this bag. It has pockets too. It's really cool. But that bag. And then they got me three sets of the Rose Hill yarn sock sets. It was a three-month mystery sock set club or something I, like that. I already picked up one of them because I want to cast them on. So I'll probably cast them on later because mm -hmm. I can cast on more socks. But anyways, oh, wait. So I should probably say this. So it was a three-month mystery sock set from Rose Hill Yarns. It was October, November, and December, but she only brought two of them up. So December that... is not up here. So this is October. This is November. Mm -hmm. So this is Fire Glow, and this is Winter Wonderland, and... This says DK. It's not DK. No, they look no. like the same exact face. Yeah, no, uh -huh. this looks like it might have just been tagged wrong, is what I'm guessing. But anyway, so I'll go based off this one. It is um, a 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Mm -hmm. so, and this one had two minis. This one only had one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But those, there are those. And then this is from You and I. It is the... I don't know how to say his first name. This is a this colorway is called Bakugo. It is a my hero recommend. What is it called? What reference. Is it? Yeah. And it's an so, anime. Yeah, reference. it's an anime that me and Holden watch. <laughs> so and it actually does match him. Holden really likes it, so I'm going to knit him a hat out of it because it is 100% super wash merino zebra. The zebra is just like the red the zebra black, looking the thing. Black, what do they call that? Barber, polling. 
something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's that. I hit on it. And then the last thing, this wasn't given to me on Christmas, but it's from them. And I'm counting it as part of a Christmas present. It is Whimsy and Sassy. It's a little gnome. Mm, so cute. I bought one. It's orange. It's, I got it myself an orange gnome. I don't know where it is. I mean, I know what where it hell? is. I don't think I have it with me. Well, you it, guys, I literally tore the living room apart because I thought I lost this. And I was so sad. I think mine is, oh, it's right there. Oh, see, squeak, squeaky chair. But there's my little orange gnome. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Yeah. And, um, I think we usually talk about the weather in the beginning, but it's snowing. We've we got quite I a bit a of, snow. Lot of snow. A lot, oh yeah, a lot of snow. You'll probably see pictures in the beginning of the you yeah. probably yeah in the video, or if you follow um, me on Instagram, I posted pictures of it. <laughs> but um, so we are all doing well. Um, my husband and I feel much better. So and thank you everyone for your well wishes and your prayers. But we're back to school now, and my husband <laughs> should be back to work by the end of the week. So everything is returning to um, normal. <laughs> I don't like to use that word, but uh, especially these days. But uh, but you know everything is going going back, you know the way it should be. We're all moving forward. So all right. So everyone, um, take care, and we will see you again in two weeks. All right. Bye. bye.